about the orbiters? Uh, my orbiters are just <laughs> wild right now. They've been misbehaving. Which ones? Not All me. of them. No. No, because you nuts. AFK'd. But um, Cherry yeah. and Stardust were dropping some wild uh, accusations on Mr. Girl, which were probably uh -huh. wholly inappropriate. We've got like uh, Mr. Girl is just going to war with the subreddit. That's been fing wild. Lav has just been fing on some wild shit. Apparently, calling her a bitch was like the ultimate, like crossing the line. Yeah, no I'm shit. We don't want to fing manually have to okay every single fing thing. Now, in the beginning, that's probably what it's going to be because we don't want just any oh, random fing. So, you fucking are going to fing do that then. So, what? You're building it twice? We are such a fing fun. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Can we get a take on, uh, how do you feel about Ethan and concentration camps Can and you stuff? stop dragging me into, even remotely, all of your shenanigans? It's not my shenanigan! Okay, Literally. Lee, go away! We're trying to talk about catch up on all this shit. You can't have any opinions on anything, okay? Leave! I this can. I, I have opinions. I just have the right opinions. <laughs> mm. The right? So you have moved politically. No, and the right, like, the correct opinions. Not right, like, you know, the right side. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to be totally honest with you? I like those nitrogen coffees. You know why? Oh yeah, they are good, aren't they? I just like the the rubber part. It just made it cool. That's literally so, it. You're talking about the La Colombe. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. I just like the rubber mm -hmm. part. It was just it's so good, though. Not the rubber, the whole thing is good, but hmm. Um, tell me, quick recap for Dan the Man. Give me the Mister Girl recap. I want to hear it firsthand. Synopsis, if you will. He just... He thinks that my subreddit is, like, really biased against him because of the moderation style that I employ. There might be he some truth to that. That I, like, I ban people that are, like, excessively dick-riding. And his fans are, like, some of the most insanely, like, dick-riding parasocial fans. Like, holy shit. But, um... He's gotten, like, super mad about it now. And um, he like declared war on my subreddit, and now like forethought has gone like completely unhinged, and he like fucking banned like a hundred Mr. Girl fans and Mr. Girl. <laughs> really? <clears throat> Dan's um, audio is quite. Hold on, I might have him turn it down. One second. Is it interesting? Shouldn't be. I haven't changed anything. Well, I mean, I might have. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, I've got you at ninety-two percent. There you go. Okay. Have... Yeah, only a hundred for me. Gotcha. Hundred No, I'm not gonna do it. You don't deserve it. Um. So, I've seen some of those posts. I am a frequent subreddit watcher, if you will. And um, you know, he um, he does like to criticize you. He uh, he does. And then the so, somebody. I hope that I should verify to make sure that they weren't actually just making all the posts up. But there was some guy that did a summary of like Mr. Girl's post. He, they did a recap on a lot of posts on subreddit. Is it true that like every time people were disagreeing with him, he's basically just saying like you guys aren't intelligent enough to understand like what I'm doing? <laughs> is that was that actually? Have you said that? I didn't see that. Did anybody see like the big post where a guy was like cataloging all of Mr. Girl's responses in the subreddit? <laughs> it was a little the bit. Thing, yeah. The thing that like um, I've come to it accept is that this is. I think people see you and they're like, hey, like Steve is like, he's open to ideas, he likes to debate, he's a discussion bro, all this stuff. But like at the end of the day, this is like your subreddit. You are the god of it. And it, it's not like a free speech zone. I mean, like to a certain extent it is, but like this is your, this is your house and you have no right to like come in there and like just... Yeah, and I want to keep the like people don't realize and I like I've I, I think I think if it was fair criticism You'd let it stay but when you feel like people are just doing it just because they hate you already like what's the fucking point? Yeah, also you have I, to be really careful point. like um You also have to be really careful not to like have like like people are always saying like oh you're gonna get a dick writer subreddit Oh, you're gonna get it. I don't have I don't think I have a dick writer subreddit Okay, every time I do shit that people disagree with it's you see the criticisms they're there um, The people that say that I have an all dick writer subreddit are on maximum fucking copium um, But the one thing that I am worried about that I'm that I try to hardcore to moderate is that like a lot of places turn into these like anti like anti um, circle jerk like these uh, what do you call them like hater subs like anti fan mm. subs And I don't want it to take that bent either because that's like ultra fucking cringe um, so yeah, but like I said, like I feel like the subreddit does like really well, so um, I don't see the reason to dramatically alter like my moderation style, not yet at least, but I You know, I've talked to Max and you know, it, mm -hmm. it's fine, but I, I do there's 
he's a good guy, but the, I have to, the amount of max posts are too damn high. But I can say that for a lot of people. Like, you gotta, you know, if you're a creator, I feel like you have to, you know, do shit on your own sub for the most part. Like, that's that's a thing. You build out your own platform mm -hmm. and stuff. And, and I'm okay, like, platforming and stuff, too. Like, that's fine for me. Like, I enjoy it. No, but like, this, is, shit, but this like, is your house. Yeah, yeah, like, at right? some extent. Like, it's not like, okay, hold on. You're not writing the rules here, my dude. Like, I, I also think, like, I... I talked about this with offline chat a little bit, and I think there's a few people, uh, and I have to remember who they are, but I'm one of them, that I think, like, people look at it and they, they see it's different, like, why isn't it with Dan? And the answer is just that, like, these people aren't streamers. Like, there's there's a few people in your life that aren't here, like, I don't want to say that anyone's getting clout off you, because I- I'm Wait, why isn't he like that with Dan? Or repeat that last part, what do you mean? I said that there's a few people in your life that aren't streamers. Oh, that, oh, oh that yeah, are in yeah, your, and, and those people are, should be treated differently than those that are. Like, even if you're not hanging out with you um, to grow your stream or anything else, there's always this... Um, there's like a, a weird like double game almost being played all the time. All, and and you, can't, you can't escape it. And yeah. it seems like a lot of people, it's just a matter of time before they decide, like, fuck it, let's burn this rip bridge and you know, get some get some cloud off of it in the sure. end. Sure, and to be fair, I don't think Max is doing that. I don't think he's like No, no, I didn't say he was either. Yeah, I'm no, but that's saying that, like, people are going to take it that way, but yeah, okay. But people need to be aware that that's, like, a realistic thing to, like, look at these interactions from. Like, if you're a creator, you are... I mean, competitors, like, not the right word, but you can be in the vicinity, but, like, you need to do your thing. You know what I mean? Like, you have your carpet cleaning business, I have mine, like... You have your route, I have mine, we can hang out, but like, I'm doing my thing here. This is not your home, this is not your house. And I think that like kind of goes like uh, a certain way. Like I don't mind, you know, if for a lot of people it's like that, but I, I don't know, I'm rambling a little bit here, but you get the idea. I will say, God, I hope this red pill shit ends so soon, please. I hate the cast. Good, I stay mad, the, the growth on my shit has been unbelievable oh god it, so. can some can i know we, let's can, go like, back to debating us? communists no let's no, go. no no i'm not saying that i'm just saying i'm waiting for whatever the next thing to drop is i'm 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 done i've moved on from this this subject i like the next thing can be like fucking nuns or something i don't care i'm ready to go nice on to the next one <clears throat> i've got that dinner on wednesday which I, sent you I don't think i i don't know if i should say that publicly but ooh, that's an interesting one um, how? how hmm. I have an interview with some Fox News lady or somebody that used to be co-host of The View on Wednesday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's see. In November, I think I'm going to Montreal to do stuff with ABBA. I'm doing. Oh, hold on. I think this is in November. I don't know if I've told you this or not. <laughs> Why? How? By the way, I called that. And you didn't believe. I believed. Uh, well, hold on. There's a specific reason. One second. Stop! Why would you even say that much, Dan? You dumb fuck! Don't say that! Shut up! No one... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. No, you're good. But... I've literally said I don't even remember what I said. Oh good. Me neither. What did <laughs> They can't possibly know what's going on because I don't know what's going on. So basically that happened. Uh yeah, good luck. <laughs> uh, that is some fucking omega levels of copium you got there. I still believe, but you know. I mean the person publicly left the company. I mean like I can see the it's all it was all like public. But um so is this the first company? Is that uh, here? Um, in Miami, yeah. Apparently the CEO lives here. Oh. Interesting. I don't know why they reached out to me, but ah, who knows? Good, always good to have backups. Um, I'm probably going to London to talk to some red pill YouTuber, Just Pearly Things. I'm going to Montreal to do stuff with um, Abba. I already said that. I'm doing the... What, what type of stuff in Montreal? I think so. he said speed dating. I don't know what the fuck it is, but... I don't know, whatever. Go to Montreal again. Um, I'm talking to Michaela, Pe Michaela Peterson, I think, um, towards the end of November, which is the daughter of Jordan Peterson. Um, she's not as big as him, but still interesting. What the f um, Yeah, that's, uh, next month should be fun. What? Mm. Yep. 
like valuation, like investors that prove that number or? Yeah. Sorry guys to come back here with secret memes. You know it's not my. Wait, like, is that actually real? Is that the, is that? Yeah, I didn't even know it was yeah. listed. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that guy's paying get, for dinner then, get, I guess. Get me, in on, <laughs> get me in on that meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. Yeah, I yeah. should be there. Shut up. By the way, you know, feel free, you know, no, that's fine. Never mind. It's fine. Uh-huh. Um, let's see, what else? Ask him about the orbiters. Uh, my orbiters are just <laughs> wild right now. They've been misbehaving. Which ones? Not All me. of them. No. No, because you nuts. AFK'd. But um, Cherry yeah. and Stardust were dropping some wild uh, mm -hmm. accusations on Mr. Girl, which were probably uh -huh. wholly inappropriate. Um, okay. We've got, like, uh, Mr. Girl is just going to war with the subreddit. That's been fucking wild. Lav mm -hmm. has just been fucking on some wild shit. Apparently, calling her a bitch was like the ultimate, like crossing the line. Um, just oh, really? Yeah, I guess. Um, just, How so? What is what has changed since you called her a bitch? I don't know. She's like, oh my god, like the misogyny in your community has come to a boiling point now because you've done this and blah blah blah. I was like, are you serious? You were like fucking going wild on Cherry that entire conversation. Um, you know, I feel like if I'm gonna do this, you're gonna be like, it's not the same. But I mean, you've heard this argument before. I don't necessarily listen. There's certainly woman haters out there. I concur with you. However, there is also people who, in this community, there's certain male people that they fucking hate. The only difference is, I, I don't think a lot of people hate not so erudite. I don't. Here's the problem. No, no, no. I agree with you. I agree with you. One hundred percent. Here's the problem. Okay. Let's say that I bring on three black people and they're legitimately mm -hmm. the dumbest motherfuckers in the world. And there's a lot of criticism to be had for all three of these people. And then let's say you go to my subreddit and half the posts are like really good critique and the other half of the posts are calling them all the N-word. How am I ever supposed to be like, okay, he has, some of them are racist, sure. But like, there's a lot of good criticism there too. I can't do it, right? And that's kind of the issue. That's one of the big reasons why I'm crack down on like all the misogyny shit. Can is because there are I... valid criticisms to make of some of these people, but it's like, it's hard to point out or find when like a lot of the stuff is just like drenched in like fucking misogyny. Can you just, in your example, can you just not bring on the dumb people? I guess. Uh, no, because a lot of people that can have dumb opinions or be kind of crazy sometimes I think are interesting. And it's not, it's dumb that like, I have to be fearful when I do it with women, but I can do it infinitely with men and it'll never reflect poorly on all men. That's just stupid as fuck. Um, we'll balance it out with enough of the other, uh, you know, the not stupid orbiters that, you know, people, it doesn't. Yeah, sure. It's just hard to find like normal, ordinary women in like this space. Like even for men, like everybody's pretty crazy, right? But. Hmm. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'll find him eventually. I'm doing, but I'm trying to work. I'm building out my. I've been talking to a lot of decently intelligent women. I'm trying to bully them to get on stream. A lot of them just don't want to come on stream too, which is also annoying. But. <laughs> really, they just want to talk to you off stream. Well, no, the issue is because they see like comments and chat and shit sometimes, and they're like ultra fucking paranoid. It's another reason why I try to tell the sub to chill sometimes when I talk to people because I'll have like one bad conversation with people, and the people in the sub will go insane and a lot of people see those reactions and they're like eh, i don't know if i want to like risk that or like that seems like hardcore and it's like okay yeah so i like i lose the ability to bring on like i think there's three like super cool women that i know right now that could be on stream contributing because i have conversations with them off stream about things that where i think they could contribute like pretty well but um, they, they don't want to be anywhere near on stream because of like the vitriolic comments sometimes about some of the women i have on and it's like jesus and it sucks just because of that yeah that's a big a huge but yeah that's the thing like if that were to change that's they, the thing yeah if that if that Hmm. Interesting. Um, so, who are the orbiters that are just going crazy besides Stardust and um, Lav and Mr. Girls? Are others, or is that it? Because those are all and discount new gen orbiters. None of the OGs. So um, I mean, Rosers okay. is like retiring from online content after White Nervosa became as unhinged as she's ever been. Did he say that he's retiring because of? I don't think it's um, because of that. I think I didn't actually watch his video. I read write ups of it though. But apparently, just like the general toxicity of like online politics and shit, so it probably played a part in it. Be my guess. Okay. Um, people said ask about Cherry. Um, Cherry was just kind of involved in the Stardust stuff, which is just kind of dumb. 
But I, she hasn't done anything besides that that's like exceptionally bad or anything. Okay. Uh, what's going on with the chest stuff? Let's see if we can get you lumped into this lawsuit. Um. Uh, I think Hans is suing people for making claims about him cheating when they don't have solid evidence of it, I think. What's your view on that? Do you think, who who's in the right, who's in the wrong on this situation here? This is, a, by the way, this, so this is the guy that other people claim had the vibrating butt plug or whatever to cheat or whatever, yes? Um, yeah, well, no, that was memes. People didn't actually think that happened. They were just... They just had no idea how he actually cheated. That was. Oh like, really? I thought that happened. That's what I heard. Well, no, that no, that was a meme. No, well, I think oh. that was a meme. Yeah, no, that was a meme for sure. I mean, that would be like one of the only ways for sure you could cheat in a live setting, right? Well, there's probably other devices that you could theoretically have like taped you and stuff to vibrate at certain times or whatever. But yeah. But like, you would have to like interact with it. You have to like clench four times to indicate. Oh, fourth row, moving to. This type of thing. Or right? it might be something as simple as like going to touch a piece and something vibrates to let you know that's the right piece or wrong piece to move or something like that, right? Oh, but that takes that takes uh, someone else Be to right. like Well, yeah, watch. of course, yeah. Like the idea is you could have a Raspberry Pi in your ass and you could be like, you know, the amount of clenches indicates if it's like a no, bishop or a queen not, and then where it's going. I, I mean, it could. It 100% could. You could have a self-contained ass I know that th it's th we're talking theoretically possible, not practically what would happen. I don't think anybody would actually... Go that actually here's a good question is a raspberry pi by itself does it have enough power to be a better chess player than a pro has it gotten that good or do you still need a really strong computer um i don't think you need really strong computers but i don't know if a raspberry pi could do it i'm not sure it would it wouldn't surprise me if they could at this point all the um algos are pretty sophisticated people are saying yes but do we trust them they are morons after all Oh yeah, Raspberry Pi could probably just do Wi-Fi, so you could just... No, you're not allowed to do Wi-Fi. I'm talking self-contained, no internet. Processing done on the chip itself. That's the only way you can be safe. Well, you could do like... You could still do Wi-Fi and have it kind of self-contained. Because you could have like... Um, you could have one Raspberry Pi up your ass and another one like inserted in like your arm or something, right? Well, like inside your... You know, there was a cool story I read a long time ago about people that would do uh, functional body mods. And what they would do is they would like put like... Oh, like you... Ma oh. Like Sorry. magnets under their fingertips. And the idea is that like they could... Now they had like this new sense of... Um, new sensory thing that like normal people don't have, which is actually like really cool. It's like you could immediately tell when something was like metal mm -hmm. um, or if there was metal underneath it. And I thought that was pretty neat. Like um, Albert, I think... Got, didn't Albert get an RFID chip installed in like his um, in his wrist? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I feel like I saw a Twitter video or something of him doing that. That just seems fucking cringe, though. Like, what is an RFID? Thing I don't know. Do? I just oh, it's a I thing. It's a body mod. It seems door. cringe to have a magnet too, Dan. Are you telling me that's no, based and that, awesome? I, I think if you're like Dan, which one would you rather have? An RFID thing in your fucking arm or like magnets in your fingertips? I'm going fucking magnets in the fingertips, hands down. What about you? I don't know if I want magnets on my summer. fingertips. Again, Jesus. It was a good time when I was there. Dude, I bet I, that would be so cool to like... Uh, it'd be fun. It ended up being annoying as fuck. Like every time I would touch my laptop, it would like turn off or some stupid shit like that. Well, they wouldn't be that strong. They don't have to be that strong. They're just strong enough to sense to give you that... I don't know. Something. Oh, uh, he has a credit card chip implanted in his hand so he can pay like the wireless pay, like Apple Pay and shit with just his... Yeah, that's what he did. I guess that's cooler. Um, you know, something I have been kind of keeping up with is, uh, you know, some of this booba stuff on Twitch is getting, god damn, is this shit getting crazy. Just, I mean, I granted my only exposure is the stuff I see on LSF, but like, you know, these are like, whew, I, I don't, where's the line? That's what I want to know. Where is the line? I actually don't know. I, I mean, I don't what's know different now than what they've done before? It's all booba. Well, I mean, well, way back in the day, um, people got banned even for remotely kind of being like this. Now, like, I feel like I'm seeing clips on LSF where uh, people are wearing like unironically floss, you know, mm -hmm. and that's it. Like, and that, and it's just like, oh, well, you have a blow up pool in the background. So I guess the yeah, I don't know. You don't want to take a stance on this. You're afraid um, of no. upsetting. I'm afraid. Why don't you yeah, tell us your afraid. opinion about the Amaranth stuff, Dan? 
What is the Amaranth stuff? And our abusive husband. I'm sorry, I didn't watch that. I'd love to. Unfortunately, I haven't. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. I think the I've always said like heavily sexualized content probably doesn't belong on Twitch, but you know they're not going to change it. So. Hmm. Yeah, just StarCraft content, how it should be. Based. You're banning not safe for work in chat, so I hear. Yep. I speak for the trees who say that perhaps that will not solve your issues. Uh, no, I think it's good. That's actually a complaint that I hear a lot from women too, is that actually that, is that the, that's like the second most common one that I hear, yeah, is the not safe for work spam. Just... I don't believe these women exist. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, so you're telling me these magical three women who are super smart are all be like, you know, hey, I don't want to come on stream because, uh, your chat is really misogynist, and there's not safe for work stuff. No, they don't exist. This is this is a is a straw man the right word to use here? Probably not. If you want, I don't to know. Be done. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. this is a straw man. Okay, there is no, uh, there is no scare, scarecrow here. It doesn't exist. Um, okay. I think they're they're just upset that you're not dressing better, and they're like, you know. I don't want to really be seen on stream if you're just going to wear sweatpants. I mean, sweatpants. it's kind of rich to say that, like, women aren't upset or women shouldn't be upset about porn being posted in chat. When my chat had, like, a fucking full-scale revolution when people were posting not safe for work but weren't tagging it when it was, like, trans porn or, like, gay porn. <laughs> Do you remember, yeah, remember those days? That. When was that? You don't remember, remember those days? That was, what, like, 2015, maybe? That was, I think it was more recent than that. That was within the past three no years, wasn't it? Way. People would post no porn way. and it'd be, like, gay porn. And they'd be, like, not safe for work. And it'd be one dude, like, and railing another dude and be like, you need to label that as gay porn. That's not just not so. And be like, why are they label it? People were losing their minds over that shit. Okay. I, f I feel like that was a long time ago. That was like 2019. Long. No shot. Now you just know, like, you know, certain certain chatters. Now they 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 self identify. Like when you see the um, uh, not safe for work link and it has the uh, oh god, what's that stupid emote that they tag with it and then you know like I ain't clicking that yeah that's the one the uh cutesteny <laughs> you steer the f clear I mean you know if, if if that's not your thing you steer clear you know if it is your thing you go for it um but you know there's that one and there's uh another one etc yeah yeah what does Sneeko think of you I only met him once so it was very brief I'd be surprised if he even remembers who I am oh maybe we'll do another dinner with him this week I only hang out with unbanned streamers at this point. Sorry, okay, I, I, gotta, I, I gotta draw a line somewhere. You can be my one Nazi queen that I hang out with, and I can balance you out with a few other people. I can't be going around with two of them, and it's gonna look like I have favoritism. Okay, I guess Dan's not getting invited to that dinner. Okay, jeez. Oh, wait. Oh, that one? Uh, wait, was other people there too? No, not that one. Wow, oh, well, you're that, actually oh. cloud sharking so hard. No, for no, the first one. Oh my yeah. god. But I want to go to, but I, that's not for clout though. That's for, you for know. What? You know, that's for uh, future business opportunities, of course. <laughs> what is, that's another way to say future business opportunities. I mean, you never know, right? That should, that's, that should be what's going through your stupid f***ing mind as you go in there Especially as you do your um, DGG site part two. Also, what is the plans for that? You want to like maybe go ahead and uh, like fill us in? All we see is the subreddit. It's like, hey, I'm making. You know, what is the plan exactly? Um, I talked about it a lot of my. Um... I'll talk about it again more clearly, and I can question you on it <laughs> while we're here. Um, the site is like functional enough now that it's like easy to deploy like the full stack to another server, um, mm -hmm, and to mm -hmm. have it like set up for other people, and that's what we're doing now. We're, our first test subject is none other than Mr. Girl himself. Um, yeah, I'll probably try it with Molina, and yeah. We'll so just... here's, you remember many moons ago we did this. Well, we we tried to do it. Um, we were trying to do it so that the it wasn't server by server based. Are you just giving up and doing it the white nervosa route then? Like, hey, you want a site, you gotta pay for a server monthly and we're gonna put your shit on there and it won't scale past uh, 4,000 4, viewers or whatever unless you go and upgrade the hardware. And, but you know, you understand that for you, there's an upward cap. I assume there has to be. Um, like if you I mean, we're trying hard to make sure that it's like, we're, we're trying to make it very scalable. That's like the dream, right? Um, in terms of like how it specifically is going to work out, I mean, it's just going to depend on like the size of the streamers we get and everything else, right? So, so 
do you remember, like, I feel like we had a lot of stuff. By the way, any of that stuff that we did, I relinquish, not, I mean, not that it matters. I don't even know if you use it, but I relinquish all ownership or assets or anything. Any of that. Just feel free to use it. Yeah, but, thanks. you know, the stuff that we did, a lot of that was really good ideas because we made it where it was a service that you would just go and, and like, you know, you could sign up. It's like going to Facebook and creating an account and you're ready to go. It's not like I have to fucking send an email and, you know, wait until Kate gets on and then you'll spin up a fucking line node Holy VPS shit. and do it. Yeah, what? fuck. So like you're saying that like, it would probably be a good Are idea. You be, if you're being condescending to me right yeah, now- Yeah, no shit, we don't want to fucking manually have to okay every single fucking thing. Now in the beginning, that's probably what it's gonna be because we don't want just any oh, random fucking- Oh, so you fucking... are gonna fucking do that then. So what, you're building it twice? <laughs> we are such a fucking cunt. You go and say you wouldn't do that and then you're actually fucking doing that. Okay. I understand what well, long term, obviously you'd want everybody to be able to sign up for it. Maybe, but there's gonna have to be some qualifying things, right? Like we've gotta like deploy a whole server and all that shit. I don't know if I want like a twelve viewer streamer signing up for it. Like what's the point of that? It's not even gonna be worth it. Well yeah, well that's the reason that I was and one of the, the things that we were looking at before is how can you make it so you do not need to go and set up a new server whenever a new streamer comes in and Well, instead, I think initially like you... we have it set up right now I think that it's it's functional enough that we can deploy like multiple like instances on the same server and it works fine. I think uh, Right right. That that would yes. be the type of thing i yeah. think but it's also but it's still maybe, probably going to require like without getting like crazy technical it's probably still going to require some like manual maintenance right because if streamers grow and fall in size somebody's gonna have to be actively monitoring like the server utilization and everything you're gonna have to like take things off and move things around like so it's like but i mean like we're just in the early stages of figuring out like right no, now I, I, yeah. i'm just saying like the more i think that you can pool or share resources versus so look at it this way i think that there's like the twitter way of doing this and then there's i guess i could just call it like the white nervosa way of doing this so the twitter way of doing this is like you are when you create a site you're just another cog in the twitter machine right it's not like they're spinning up a server for you you're using a database that they already have you're using um you know the the servers that they already have for chat and things like that like you might be another instance uh if you will on that stuff but it's not like they've set something up for you. Um, I think that should be the route that you go because then all you're doing is you're scaling your own service as it grows with more and more concurrent viewers across the whole network as a whole. But it's not like, hey, we just signed up fucking, we just signed up Tony Dofat. We need to, you know, this one's gonna need a, uh, you know, uh, extra large Linode VPS because he gets 8,000, you know, viewers. I, I think like that's the, the kind of direction I would push you to go is like you just keep making your service get bigger and smaller but it's all like this core set of servers versus individually siloed shit. But I don't know if you guys are doing that. It sounds to me like each streamer is gonna have their own database and their own like copy of the source code in their own um, chat and shit like that. So that, that that was my only my only thought. And I think there is a lot of advantages of um, doing the the shared stuff as well. Like, you know, maybe, you know, shared logins and things like that in the future opportunities with with mailing like that was a big thing we talked about before it's like you know you can make a lot of money we're not no we're mail. not doing anything about email lists that's not that's yeah Dude, that's a huge revenue source like i i know you're like dismissive of it but like I let's am. say you had I, I just don't care i don't care that's not that's not well what let me, I can i tell revenue. you how much they well people care about money so let me just tell you how much money you can okay. generate yeah go for it all right well okay you know you know no, tell me we'll tear the numbers go ahead I mean, typically there, it's huge CPMs for this stuff. It matches video when you send emails. So if you have 100,000 people, it's at least the equivalent of having 100,000 views on a YouTube video. So if I, every time I fire off an email to 100,000 people, I automatically get a check for $500. If it's yeah, a CPM, it's fine. at least, yeah. I don't know if I believe that. But even if that is the case, I don't think I'd want to be involved in like email lists or whatever. That seems like the most like aggressive well, way to like make money off of people such that they probably No, the like idea it. is that you give the control to the streamers on your platform. Like are you there to say fuck you? Well, here, let me let me I don't think we would I don't think we would here. ever give that level of control. I think the idea is to do like probably all of the logins on like a separate server for like Actually, here's some great questions I want to ask you. Number 1. Yeah. Let's say we create dan.gg here. Am I going to be able to see everyone's IP addresses and emails and uh, not passwords, but emails and um, IPs of who create an account on my site? No, that's why I said we were probably planning on doing like a central login server for everything, so, so that people don't have that information. Because that's so like, I will not have actual control then. To, I mean, correct. not to be that's weird. Right. Yes, you won't. That is it is a little bit risky to do that, in my opinion, actually, because you're you're marketing yourself a little bit as a site. Like, hey, listen, you can't get banned from here. You own the website. You own the content. 
Like this is where you're, this is your new home. This is Dan.gg. They can't take this away from you, except like you literally can take it away. And then when you do, I don't have any of my users. I don't have any of my payment <clears throat> info. Like, shouldn't you try to be as portable as you can with that type of stuff? Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll figure out in the future. That's one question that we have. Um, because uh, if you're, how is this not working? Um, if you stop service, like, do we just give the source and the site to everybody else? Because that would be like, there's questions around doing that, right? Um, so like, the part of like the you understand that like we couldn't just give like mm -hmm. the source over, right? If you stop using the service, because now if assuming that like I'm paying tens of thousands of dollars for maintenance of this code base, now I've just given you my like entire proprietary source because you well, stopped. I guess it comes down to the idea is do. Do you want a streamer to feel like they own their members and they own their website? Meaning that not really. Future, no, I don't think I care about you, that. So you as don't. Much. So no, you don't. So you're making kind of like also another... there's it's almost like a software as a service thing. Maybe also these things are all up in the air. Also, Cake's gonna know the details of this way better than me. But um, also the whatever potential downsides there are, to like oh no, they don't feel like they're on their ship. Blah 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 blah. Like um, is is dramatically outweighed by the idea of like any fucking streamer that signs up now can like full dox every single person that signs up to their shit. Like that's the liability there. In my opinion, is way 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 higher than somebody being. Like, oh no, I don't get my proprietary source code in the actual database of all of my. I, you know, I feel like we had this conversation before, and the the assumption that we came to many years ago was, how is it any different if I just create fucking a Squarespace website that literally gives you my IP and email if I create an account on your site? And it's not right. Like, if any if anyone creates a website and you as a viewer go and log into that streamer's website, you should expect that they're going to have whatever information you give to them. Okay, so then let people right. go do that. If they want to go make their own shit, then they can go do that. That's fine. Well, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, listen, we're just having a um, conversation. If you get frisky. Um, I don't know if Squarespace is on the same level as this. Like, So do you, do you have Like, does Squarespace, dream? like, handle, like, payments and everything in that way? Or do they just, like, tell you, like, go sign up for Stripe I, I and, like, connect be, it? I like, have no fucking idea. But, I mean, that's the real question I ask you. So, like, when you build this, back in the day, it was like, hey, listen, we're building Wix for streamers, or Squarespace for streamers, and, and YouTube creators. Um, you know, these people, there's all these other sites that, that focus on allowing you to create a website if you're a streamer or a YouTuber, but they actually don't really do a good job of it. They're all pretty garbage. Like, the one that I'm most familiar with right now that's trying to do this is actually, I think it's Streamlabs, right? They have like, you can make kind of your shitty website with them, but they haven't really done anything with it as far as I know. So is that the goal to kind of create a startup where it's like, we're doing Squarespace for streamers? Or is this more targeted? Like this is a place for, you know, the canceled banned streamers. No, to it's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with canceled or banned streamers. Just the idea, like, if you want to run, like, all of your own subscriptions and donations and shit off of a separate platform where there's not, like, a fucking 30% cut into all of your revenue, like, and, and I think the separate chatting community, I think, is a really, really, I think that's a really big deal to a lot of people. When I've talked to Melina, uh, when I've talked to Lily, uh, and I've talked to Lauren, um, I've talked to, um, I think Sneaku even brought it up. There's a lot of people who, like, when they look at my platform, the chat is actually the biggest selling point, more than any other aspect of it more than the subs more than the donos um uh i'd have to ask max i wonder how he feels what the biggest selling point is for him but like yeah I, so i think like having that um I, I think that yeah i think that's the biggest selling point is that just basically the ability to have like your community in an area that's not like subject to any rules regulations restrictions from like See, other but that to me that part doesn't exist unless you actually kind of own it a little bit. no you don't need access to any of your user data for so, that do, so should people come here feeling like you'll never, if they get set up with you, that you'll never get rid of them? Um, ideally, yeah. Well, that, that's not real, really honest. Let me give you an example. Let's say I come on and then I turn into a Denim's X, Hassan X, I don't know, whoever else you fucking hate mm -hmm. person, all combined and I'm still using your shit. Are you going to take it from me? What about... Like, what I about don't like, have actually? a history of being, like, financially vindictive to any person that I've ever associated with, ever. No. If you think you I'm going to do that, then you can think that. That's fine. Then just don't come to my platform. I don't care. Oh, no. Okay, fine. A better example might be, like, imagine, like, Keffels was using your stuff from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then you went through all this stuff with her. No, I wouldn't do it because I'm not fucking retarded. That It's going to make me look bad. Why the fuck would anybody use my service if they're subject to get kicked off of it because we have political disagreements? Of course well, not. That's what, I, that's what I was asking. Is I think that that's important is that if someone comes to you that they need to know without a doubt that this is something that they can um, you know, count on not being taken away from them. Because I would guess most of the people that want this are people that feel like they can't count on Twitch 
or YouTube to be a place that can be, um, hold on. Uh -oh. Um, yeah, no fucking shit. God, I'm not getting moron. Okay. I was talking about this before you were a fucking thought in your dad's balls. All right. Chill the fuck out. Back the fuck up. Don't tell me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, now I got people making fun of my insults. Like I can't fucking win. Just stop. Just take what you got. Okay. Are you okay, Dan? No, I'm not okay. Cause you can't say anything in this chat without a million motherfuckers coming in here criticizing the way you talk, criticizing the cadence, criticizing the words that you. You get in here and fucking talk. Hate these motherfuckers. <laughs> Dan is fighting for his life not to misspeak right now. <laughs> no. You know, I, I <laughs> people were, were, were asking me because I, I misspeak off of stream as well, okay. especially like during tense moments on Rust. Yeah. And people were like, Dan, like, have you ever like you notice no one else really misspeaks a lot? And I was like, well, that's not true. You guys do it sometimes. They're like, but yeah, you do it a lot more. And they're like, hey, can you Google it? And it's like. The scary part is it's like, oh yeah, this is one of the signs of aphasia. And I was like, oh my god, that's the thing that Bruce Willis has. Wait, um, is aphasia fuck. something that can come later? I thought that was like, you were born with it. Uh, I don't know. Or I develop it like, it. well, you should look it up. That's important. I thought that was like a really early in life. Like, your child could have aphasia. Um, I don't know, you could like develop it later in life. Maybe you could, but... Um, I don't know. But like, one of the signs is difficulty in speaking and difficulty in reading and but apparently you don't lose your intelligence, you just lose the ability to communicate effectively. <laughs> to sound so, intelligent, even worse. I guess I'll just be f***ing squawking at people in the future if that's what it comes down to. Uh, we'll have to see. Damn. Damn. Um, Jesus. Yeah. I, I hope I don't have it. That would be not, not poggers. You know? Oh, okay. Apparently aphasia is not like a, it's not like a disease, it's just like a symptom of other potential diseases. So if you start having like strokes or something, maybe you'll develop aphasia. Dan, you don't have any intelligence to lose. Tomsy, oh, get on here right now. Come uh -oh. on in. Right, let's let's fucking compare, okay? Any subject you want. I don't care if you're like a professional fucking cabinet maker. I somehow am gonna know more about cabinets than you do, okay? That's how confident I am that you are a fucking moron, knowing nothing about you at all. I, whatever your profession is, you know nothing about it. I'm better at it. There's nothing that you're better at than me, except being a f***ing moron and having a smaller penis than me. That's it. That's the only things you got going on in your life. <sighs> Sorry, I just, I gotta stop reading chat. This is too much for me. You know what it is? It's just like, I haven't been here for a while, just keeping an eye on it. I mm -hmm. see the little blue mentions coming in. I peer over and I get fucking mad. That's it. No, you are, updated f***ing caveman. Eat shit. I, I gotta stop. I have to. Um, Okay, um, what else? Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> what? What is so funny? What? Uh, here is a... One of the, um... One of the female friends earlier uh, that I said gave that not safe for work thing was talking some shit on you. Here you go. I don't know, Dan. It's a. Uh, it's maybe something to consider. Tell that. Oh. Say it. Tell that what? Say it, Dan. Say what. Say what we all want to hear. You know what? Why, why don't you know? You know us. Tell. You know what? I'm still say here it. every day. I'm not. I'm not being like, oh, I don't want to come on because people like. But I do it, and I can stand in the trenches, and I take it, and I fire back. Uh -huh. You know what? That's the difference. I guess we're just built differently. Okay, you're afraid. I'm out here on the streets. That's the difference. They said, Dan, no way there are intelligent women who refuse to come on stream because the chat is terrible. Dan, 20 minutes later, having a meltdown. This is not a meltdown, okay? This is not a meltdown. This is normal, everyday, dealing with chat. This is how I've been for years. Not a meltdown uh -huh. because he misspoke. Didn't misspeak, by the way. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Find me the misspeak, idiot. See, that's why you can't hang here in the arena Okay? Because you can't keep up. You're not fast enough. Your paws can't pitter-patter across the keyboard quite like mine can. And I don't blame you. 
Not that easy. Anyways, no misspeaks there. That I was actually putting a little bit of effort into that, not speak misspeaking on that one. That would have. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What? That would have been bad. It would have been bad. It would have been bad. Yes. But not you, Dan. You're above. Not me. Me. You're better than that. What do you think the next uh, big arc needs to be? What? Next arc? Anything but red pill. This shit is. Oh, anything super but. Boring. Oh, he's one of those answers. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay. Let me think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. The next arc. Oh, I'll take the next you don't orbiter. Know what can be what can become an arc? Like you could say pit bulls, but it's like, you know, is that really an arc? You know, is that just a thing we talked about? I know the next or orbiter I need to build up, okay? Have you listened to this ruminate guy at all? No. Okay, fine. I don't even know You're who not that is. Like him because it's boring politics. He's a cool dude. Okay, then definitely not. Okay, never mind. Fuck. Um, that guy is gonna go somewhere. He needs, he needs to do more online content. I can feel it. Oh, if he wants to go somewhere, he should steer the fuck clear of you then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've launched more successful careers than like any other f***ing streamer. Except I'm, I'm okay. pretty sure I've launched more successful careers. No. They just they were just happened to walk by on, on Destiny's stream. They're already on a path to greatness. Did you not see bro tips? Okay? Everyone knew it. that guy was fucking going somewhere. You were, you were just one turtle getting stepped on on a long line of turtles until he became the top streamer. Wow. We all knew it. That's why we brought him in. The professor. Anyways. Um, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Uh, I guess back to the Mr. Girl thing. Oh, you wait. just imagine you're just going to evict can I, his fans from what? Um, can I listen to like the 60 second clip real quick? Go. Okay, hold on one second. Wait, why are people getting timed out? Hey Mitch, I hate you for trying to can- I didn't try to cancel Ms. Skip! Dude, I don't know if I can sit on this any longer. Like, you know, Ms. has asked me to stay quiet, but I just don't know if I can. Like, I, I actually don't know if I can. Alright, I'm so sick of this shit. Like, I'm actually so sick of this shit. Alright, hold up. Okay. Alright, go for it. I forgot what I was saying. Um, it was about Mr. Girl ban all of his Oh, friends, yeah. So, do you think you're gonna continue banning? No, I mean, bans? I imagine once people calm down, people start to get unbanned, and Mr. Girl should get unbanned. Unless forethought is like truly become unhinged destroyer of worlds, but right? Yeah, I guess he he's pretty frisky. I think he's Mr. Girl. Unless you no forethought. I think unless you direct him, he'll keep doing it. But would you ever get to the point where you're like, hey, stop doing this? Um... Or are you just gonna be like, listen, I prefer you didn't, but. Keep doing what you think, because I, I... I mean, if he got, like, way actually, like, two out of hand, yeah, of course, but... Yeah, so I, I think it's probably gonna not change. He's... he's insane enough to just keep doing what he's doing, I think. Um, you know, he's done a good job so far. You know, I let him. I'll leave him to his own devices. Yeah, so that's why I, I feel like probably nothing will change with that, which is, you know, that's what it is. Um, I think it's good usually that the moderators have their own realms. Like, RTBA is like king shit in DGG. Forethought is king shit in Reddit. Um, yeah, they kind of, they're like the, um... Yes, they... <laughs> what do you call that? Like, I've, had a, I've had a battle with RTBA before, and he's like banning me from chat, and I'm giving him like a... a role in Discord and shit like taking... Yeah, it's like what we... What's the name of like the gods no, in Lord of the Rings? What are they called? The houses? Wait, the what? The gods in uh, Lord of the Rings is a name for these things. But anyway, yeah, they're like that. They like they rule their own. Oh, the vassals, maybe? I don't know. They rule their own fucking domains or whatever. Or the Valar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 